What's up guys, Matt from Vapefuse.com here. Back again helping to keep you up to date with the latest and greatest in herb vaping news and tech. Now this week I've got another doozy for you all. We recently copped the Apollo Air Vape X, which is notably the thinnest portable vaporizer on the market. Now this is a dry herb vaporizer, but it also comes equipped with a liquid pad in case you want to get some concentrates going. Now what I find interesting about the Air Vape X is that although it is extremely portable, they also include this carry shell with it. So I've heard that with previous units, the magnetic mouthpiece on the top here wouldn't stick that well. And so when you're traveling around with it in the pocket, the mouthpiece is sort of flick off. So they included this hard plastic carry shell, which used to just be an optional accessory. So this is fantastic for any portable vapor that's looking to pack up a session with them, take it on the go and get out and about and enjoy the vapor with nature. This is a very high powerful device. In terms of flavor and performance, it's fantastic. Visible vapor is off the charts. Only little drawback I can see from it is that it is a dual convection conduction vaporizer. So if we open up this magnetic top mouthpiece here, it's got this zirconia mouthpiece on the top, pretty similar to the X-Max Starry. And looking at the inside, you can just see that ceramic five pin chamber. So as I said, it acts in a little bit of a hybrid style. As you draw air through, it does have those air holes in the bottom that are going to help to atomize your herb and get you those essential vapors. But at the same time, that chamber does get quite hot. And being a thin vape, you see this in most portable vapes of this size, it's going to be running quite hot in your hand when you're exceeding temps of like 180, 190 Celsius, around the 400 Fahrenheit mark. So with this one, I usually started off very low. I've actually been starting this at about 165 Celsius, which is around the 345, 350 Fahrenheit mark. Now, most of you will know the general temp for starting portable vaporizers off at is like 170, 180 degrees Celsius. So with this one here, that conduction element really does have an effect. But most small devices of this size, like I said, so like the Grasshopper Vape or even like the Cloud V F17, vapor quality quite high, but the heat of them, it just after a little while, you only want to use this thing for a quick session. If you're planning on sitting there having a whole 10 minute blast, this isn't the device for you. But if you're looking just for something to kickstart your day, or as I said, pack up a session, take it out and about, the Air Vape X is going to be perfect for that. So I'm just going to pack this one up. While it's heating up, we'll go through what's in the kit and stuff a little bit. But just like most good portables, three clicks on the front, and you see this little emblem pop up. Now, originally I thought this thing was like the Puffet X and had an inbuilt fan because it has this little blowing fan on the front, but what's that really is just indicating is that the temperature is heating up. So with this one, pretty basic display. It just displays the temperature in either Celsius or Fahrenheit. Pressing the power button and the down temperature button together will help change that over to Celsius. So obviously if you're in Canada or Australia like us, you can get that readout in uh, Celsius. Um, session timer as well, it's pretty cool. It's just to the right here underneath the battery, so it'll indicate that you've got a five minute session. If you wanna switch that between a three and five minute session, you just press the up arrow and the temperature button. So even though it's only got a pretty sort of uh, average display, you can change up a fair bit with this one. So I'll turn it off so that bloody temperature's not gonna be too hot while I'm packing it. It's pretty simple to pack. It's got this little ridge in the top, pretty similar to the x vape fog. So if you're just dropping your little herb particles down into the middle. The chamber as well, uh, it atomizes it pretty evenly. So compared to some other devices with the circular chamber, where you're getting those hot spots in the middle, this one will give you a pretty even vaporization. And you can easily get away with a half pack chamber. Just using my grinder roo for that sort of medium fine to coarse grind. I'm gonna pack that up into the chamber here. Included the kit, you get little packing tools and tweezers and stuff like that. But if you've got a hand grinder like this with the bottom compartment, it's always easiest when you're packing up a vape. You pretty much just chuck the bowl over there and any spots that you're missing can be covered up. So we'll pack this one down nice and deep so we can get some pretty thick clouds going. Just get the last of that herb in there. And also as you saw when I turned this one on a second ago, very quick temperature heating up. So that's very reminiscent of most conduction vapes. Pretty sure the X Vapes, uh, X Max Starry does the same thing. It'll heat up pretty quick. So I thought this one's flavor profile would be very similar to the Starry, which is one of our best entry level devices, but it's actually a lot more sophisticated than that. So the turp profile that comes through is exquisite while you're remaining at a low temp. So as that temperature increases a bit, you are gonna get that element of conduction that's gonna result in some, not charredness, but a little bit of toastiness, I'll say. So with this one, if you're looking to harvest that AVB, maybe go pull in, this, uh, pull in the chamber at about 190 Celsius. I wouldn't pump it too much higher. So as I said, three clicks, 
I'll chuck this one just down to 170 to start with so we can get some clouds for you guys. So 170 Celsius, let that do its thing. That'll vibrate to let me know. So what else we've got in the kit here? We've just got these accessories here. So they've got a chamber screen for the base, just so making sure no herb particles are getting stuck in those little holes at the bottom. It's got this single airway mouthpiece screen. So with the mouthpiece, the air intake is on the left-hand side, which then filters through the right-hand side and pops out of the mouthpiece. So that helps to cool it down a little bit. We've got this silicone mouthpiece cover, which I'm gonna chuck on now. That helps if the vape's getting a little bit hot, sort of to retain that coolness to it. And obviously this oval shaped stainless steel liquid pad for all your concentrates and liquids. So let's have a hit of this one now. The smell is a lot more prominent than you'd expect. From, so most convection vapes, obviously you're not gonna get any smell out of it until you've been drawing through for quite a while. But with this one, there's a definite sort of herby smell in the air. So a decent bit of visible vapor off that first hit. That's pretty, pretty common with most sort of dual conduction convection vapes. Let's take another hit now, see if we can get a larger cloud. But the flavors that I'm getting off this are really, really something else. You can see already two hits in on 170 Celsius. We're getting pretty decent clouds from that. And as I said, starting at that lower temp ensures that you're getting the majority of those terpenoids and flavonoids and can really enjoy that flavor. Just breaking down the rest of the kit now, inside the box you also get this micro USB charging cable. So it's just the regular sort of star with the air vape emblem on the front there. So if you've got any power bank, laptop USB port, wall charger, whatever, you can keep this one locked and loaded on the go. Also included is just this general sort of cleaning and packing kit with tweezers, a packing loading tool, and this cleaning brush. So that's pretty much it, guys. The Air Vape X is a premium vaporizer in a very, very small package. So if you're looking for an awesome quality portable vape that you can load up, take on the go, and enjoy terpy clouds of vapor, check out the Air Vape X in the Vape Fuse store and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest and greatest in her vaping news and tech. Cheers, guys.